How's the king and the fellas? I'm Orosh and this is another episode of Yakuza 0 and in today's episode we're going to uh, talk to Sagawa, finally fucking progress the main story. Oh, he's sitting over here. Oh, well, he'll have to wait for me because there's another... Hold on, maybe there's more. Uh, I don't see more, so uh, this guy. Oh no, he's looking at the little boy again. This is uh, this boy's dad, but he went through surgical alteration and he started a new life because he is a dangerous criminal, apparently. Or someone, I don't know. Hello, Machima-san. Spy on your family from afar, like usual. Maybe in today's episode we'll um, progress. No, I don't think we'll. Maybe next episode. We'll finally switch to cure you. Because we haven't seen him in a while. All this weird shit. Spying on your family from afar, like usual, I see. I don't see. I don't see your wife anywhere, though. Yes, I think she's at her part time job. As a hooker. Okay. Now the boy just kind of stands there. Her little boy, what's his name? It's Yusuke. That's a cool name. Little Yusuke Khan looks bored being by himself. No. I don't know, he looks like he's spacing out. Akatani, why don't you go play with Yusuke Khan? <laughs> but. Who cares about your face? It shouldn't matter if you play with him as a total stranger. It would just look kinda creepy. Why the fuck you're walking up to little children? That might be true, but. <sighs> oh, for crying out loud. Come on, man. I'll go with you. Let's go. Yeah, I guess he knows me already, kind of. I played ball with him once. Majima-san, wait! Hey, little boy, you in the wrong part of town? You're lost, fucker! <laughs> Just two fucking scary people walk up to him. Hi, mister, what's up? Damn it, I ran up to this kid, but now what? What will I say to him? <laughs> what's up, candy, little kid? I don't even have candy. I'll buy you some candy. Come over here. Come over here. Mm -hmm. Come over here. Uh, my mom said I can't go anywhere with people I don't know. Well, I'm Majima. Now you know me. Let's go. What are you talking about? Yusuke Khan, this... There here is your... Huh? How do you know my name? Mm. This is bad. Majima-san. I never had anything to do with this boy in my current identity. Oh, that's right. I forgot the plot. Got careless. Sorry. Sorry, 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 my mistake. I was just a random guess. I just got it into my head and you look like Yusuke, you know? Like a little bitch. Hmm? Ah, oh, crap. Yusuke can look all suspicious now. It's probably a Korean spy. Yusuke can, was it? What are you up to? I was watching these ants. Is that fun? No. It's fucking ants. What's fun about them? Fucking bunch of simps living in a big ass fucking house made of dirt all simping to one fucking queen that does nothing but fucks them all day. <sighs> what the fuck? Yusuke Khan, do you play at this park a lot? <laughs> yep. Actually, I like ants. I just wanted to make fun of him for the joke. Ants are cool. You know, what bugs I hate? Fruit flies. They're the worst fucking piece of shit, especially since they're all over this fucking place where I sit right now. They keep flying into my fucking eyes. For some fucking reason, they really fancy my eyes. Yep, with my mom, and she's not working. And by myself, if my mom had... To, wait, what? Yep, with my mom, if she's not working. And by myself, if mom has to work. I don't know what he asked him before. I wasn't paying attention. When my dad was here, he used to play with me, but he's gone. You took a gun. Do you miss your dad? Sure, I miss him. But if I say that, my mom gets all sad and lonely too. I don't want to... I don't want to say I'm sad anymore. Wow, you're a strong boy, Yusuke Khan. Show me the muscles. Yeah, flex. Would it be okay if you, if I old guys joined you so we can watch these ants together? Sure, let's do that. Thank you. We'll give them names and make up scenarios, and then burn them all to death at the end. So it's like a tragic story. He's the kid's father, all right. Knows how to deal with this kid. Let's watch ants together. I guess like I have having like a terrarium with ant colony inside. That must be kind of fun to have like around your room to see a fucking. You have like a society within your room of little ants. That's interesting. I feel like that's more interesting than having like a fucking 
aquarium full of fish, because fish don't fucking have like a society, they just fucking swim around and do shit. Jack shit. But ants, they're like more organized, they're more interesting to watch. I have to go home now, bye bye. Bye bye. See ya. Running, running. Thank you, Majima-san. You made it possible for me to spend time with my son. Yeah. I was thinking maybe I forced it a little too much. Haha, <laughs> you might be right, but thanks to you, I got to be with my son. I couldn't be any happier. I have to go keep to be gone too. Akatani's got work to do. See you, Majima-san. What kind of work? We're killing people or something? Akatani sure seemed happy. Makes sense, finally getting to talk to his son again. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> Who are these fancy people? Hey, you got some business with him? <laughs> Look at that guy's eyebrows. He's permanently angry. Perma angry. What's with them? Last episode was an hour long and I recorded it just now. So I hope I won. So I hope this episode to be a little shorter because uh, I don't want to fucking sit here for like three fucking hours. Hey look at Sagawa, he was sitting here for like five fucking episodes waiting for me. Sorry I'm late, I uh, had shit to do. Oh. Like a lot of shit. We're eating noodles. He wants to be all friendly with me to probably use me in the future. And why the fuck does he call me Tiger? I don't even get a tiger on my back. He should call me Devil. Because I think I have some kind of devil on my back. Majima Sen tattoo is so fucking cool. I kind of wish I had like one like that in real life. But if I had one like that in real life... It would just be pretentious because I'm a little bitch instead of a badass. If I was a badass like Majima, then sure I'd get a fucking tattoo like that. I don't. I never seen any Akaza or any like, you know, bears. I'm interested. What kind of symbolism do animals have on your back? Like tigers, devils, whatever, dragons. Are there bears? Because I read like bears as a, like a symbol of stuff, you know. My town symbol is a like a bear. But it's not I'm like that, like the bear on it is just like a silly little bear. I mean not like a silly one, but it doesn't look badass. It just looks normal. The fuck is that? It's like a bottle? Why is it wide like that at the top? Is it monster energy? Uh, monster Energy review. No, I don't have a new uh, Monster Energy. I'm still drinking that fucking. What's it called again? Rockstar Badger Juiced Energy. Doesn't taste all that good. I gave it a 7. No, I gave it a 6.5. Because it has a weird taste. One time I take a drink, it tastes pretty good. <laughs> One time I take a drink, it tastes like shit. And I can't make up my mind about it. Some garbage on my table. My table's so fucking messy. Not like the soccer player, but it's like f fucking sticky and gross. <laughs> but I don't even have any fucking intent of cleaning it, cause I wanna go back to my old place. I miss it. Everything here is so tedious to do. People are walking in on me and shit. I miss my old place. So fucked up now though. Who is your old brother? Oh yeah, Shimano, <laughs> that's right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, sorry, I forgot to unplug something. I forgot the cable doesn't plug into the headphone, it's permanently attached to it. The previous headphones were fusing for recording. That one uh, had cable detachable from your headphones. Hey guys, remember that this is a furious gangster story game? And not a silly game when you run around and run into funny little problems people have on the street? Cause... possible you forgot cause I... 
been doing only that for like a couple of episodes. We were fucking watching porn last episode. And we made friends with a guy who runs the store where you want where you, where you watch porn. I was watching another loop in the third movie, I guess I could tell you about it. I'm, since I already told you about every other one I did watched and this one was called Operation Return to Treasure. The premise is that Lupin had a friend who was also a thief. He stole a bunch of shit, but he died, and he wanted Lupin to return the treasures he stole. So he had to walk to go around this world and return the treasures, and then at the end they were in Russia and they put like a diamond in the chapel, and the chapel made it became all fancy and shit, and there was like a mystery. I like the bad guy in that one. He was, at first he seemed like a generic business guy. But then he had a cool little redemption thing at the end where he actually saved his henchman. His henchman was really cool because she was like this hot chick with a gun and all that cool stuff. And I also like how the movie made every character do a thing that's actually important for the story. Because some of the loop in the third movie is just like for example Goemon is like underused and then he's just like there in the background. He kills some guys with a sword and then he fucking doesn't do anything really. But in this movie he did do stuff, you know? There was like important shit that Goemon did, important shit that Lupin did, important shit that Jigen did, Fujiko. Only thing I can complain about in that movie is that uh, um, a lot of times in Lupin the third movie there is the su supporting character of a girl that usually ends up being seduced by Lupin, right? with various degrees of effect, but in that movie the girl joined like halfway through the movie and they usually show up like near the beginning and I thought that she wouldn't even be important to the story but she actually ended up being and I was like oh okay so she wasn't that important I guess she was important because she took care of Goemon when he got shot and then and then it turns out that the, the guy who died at the beginning and was the, the thief friend that Lupin had, he was like her uncle or something and she had the diamond. But the fact that they found it out by complete accident was kind of lame. Because they did. Kind of like a complete accident. I don't, I don't think they ran into her because they found out that she's the one who has the information on the whereabouts of the diamond, which was just kind of hidden in her hat. Why is my candle fucked up? There's skin coming off my head. What the fuck? Is that my snake person? Don't tell anyone that I'm a snake. The fucking hand, uh, what's it called? What's it fucking called, you know? Every fucking school has them, you know, where you have to clean your hands before you come. Sanitizer? Yeah, in my school it's like all sticky and gross. I don't know what the fuck did he checked off into that bottle and I just fucking cleaned my hand with the cum or whatever. But I don't know, my skin's coming off now. What the fuck? It's like I have to go to school today. One last. No, wait, I still have to come last one time. Dude, you don't even know. I killed so many people already. Why are we saying this out loud to this guy who makes us noodles? Yeah. そんな色の線でも俺は店の売り上げあと5億上げて極道に戻る。オデッセイから望みを引き抜いてか。もしともか。けどさ、もし俺がオデッセイに連絡すりゃその話今からでもなかったことにできるんだよ。なあ、プリ
comes back later and uh, is pretty much the reason why he goes insane. Because he doesn't go insane, what happens to Majima is that he chooses to, to act insane, so nobody can control him anymore because everyone pretty much doesn't want to deal with him. Because they don't know what the fuck he will do, he's unpredictable. You know, it's unpredictable what he, what he will do and nobody wants to fucking tell him to do shit. It's the ideal deal, you know? You kind of see in Yakuza 6 that he's not insane because in Yakuza 6 he's like barely in it. Which kind of sucks that he's barely in it. As soon as his brother comes back from prison, he stops being insane. He just like goes to back to normal. Wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Music really good. Now, did you hear that Cyberpunk 2077 got delayed again? Oh my fucking god. November 11th or something? 18th? I really hate it when it got delayed because I thought I would play it throughout summer and I would like do a summer let's play, like some special of this game, but now that it's gonna be November, I'm gonna be back at school. I suppose I could like record it on a winter break or something, but come on, November? On one hand it's a little bit positive because I guess by November it'll be easier to get up money for the game than November. But still, November? Gee. I wouldn't mind them delaying it yet again for another like May or summer, so I can do it next year. See, it wouldn't matter to me if I didn't run a fucking Let's Play channel, but I want to make a Let's Play out of the game as soon as it comes out, because I, you know, probably most people give a fuck about it. And I'm usually not, like, you know, playing games when they come out. I don't want to make Let's Plays of popular games, just because, oh, this is a popular game. I don't really like it, but you'll make good views. Cause fuck it, this game is like, what, four years old? Three, maybe? Yeah, I think it's three years old and I'm playing it now when there's a million other fucking let's plays already and I don't really care I want to play Yakuza games I don't give a shit that's what my favorite let's players when I was like growing up did you know when let's players didn't fucking do the thing where they would play bigger games because like they would genuinely just like they'd be genuine you know that's what I wanted to to be when I was like starting a let's play. I didn't like all these like let's players that are fucking loud, obnoxious. But then on the contrary, I didn't like the ones that are like really bored. I don't know what I'm talking about? These ones that are start conversation by me like, oh, how's it going uh, guys? In today's episode, we're gonna play Minecraft. You know, I wanted to be like in between a little bit. Not too fucking excited about shit, but more excited than I usually am about things. Hey, a toilet! <laughs> Look at that! Yeah, let's take a wicked piss. Better now than later. Okay, great. I just had a conversation with Sagawa about murdering a fucking person. But now I gotta take a piss. Well, the toilet ain't exactly the model of cleanless. The walls are covered with shit. Most of the gutters are covered with shit. Pretty much everything is covered with shit. Mm -hmm. Huh? Some of this graffiti is done in some real pretty handwriting. I'm very lonely. Please reply. <laughs> I wanna die. Only a lady has handwriting this pretty. Who could have wrote this? And what should I do? Write a reply. I had the thing going on like that in uh, school, except it was like we were. Uh, some. It was like on desks. You know, someone would draw a fucking train. And next person would draw a wagon, and then another person who would sit there would draw another wagon, and then the train would become longer and longer and longer because everyone would draw a wagon. I would usually draw a penis instead of a wagon. I mean, a penis shaped wagon. I'll chat with you if I want. That'll do. That'll show him. Alright, for the next person to be lonely. <laughs> That's the quest. Look how happy he is. That must be nuts for playing to some bathroom graffiti. <laughs> Crazy. Silly me. I'm such a crazy person. Alright, let's go to my house. Let's take a sleep. Let's take a nap. Let's take a fucking wicked sleep. 
Oh look, the quest is back. <laughs> how the fuck is it back? I just fucking did it. And how did I never run into the bathroom quest? And where's Komaki, by the way? Look, Komaki usually stands here and he trains you new moves. And he's not here. Let's see, what, what's up? What's going on with this ugly fucking bitch? Uh, excuse me. Hmm? Huh? What's up? I'm to act like I'm back now. I feel bad that I called her a bitch. <laughs> this lady, right? She's the wife of... Uh, but her haircut is horrendous, I gotta say. Right, she's the wife of Akatani, the guy who got his face altered. Have you seen a little boy here? He would have been al He would have been alone. A little boy? You mean Yusuke-san, Khan? Yes, that's right. But how do you know that? Yeah. Uh, well, I actually got to be friends with your boy and played with him the other day. Oh, I see. Have you uh, seen Yusuke today? I came to get him, but he's not here like he's supposed to be. <clears throat> um, can't say I have. Oh, found his ball just laying here. I'm positive that he was here earlier. Oh. That's worrying. I'll keep an eye out for him. One eye out for him. Yes, please, I'll keep looking around here. Ow, my fucking arm. Everything fucking hurts, man. Life just hurts. Life is fucking hard. Yusuke Khan's gone missing. I doubt he's gone far, though. I'll file spot him. I'll bring him back to his mom. I wonder where he went. Is it possible that he went, like, over here? No. It's impossible. I bet he's not there. I bet he's at the other end of this world. What's going on? Nothing. Oh, look, a little boy. Hey there, Yusuke Khan. Your mother's looking for you. Mister. Something wrong? Some scary people came and I was playing in the park. Scary people? Look, I'm the scariest. And you're not fucking scared of me, though. Yep, they tried to take me away, so I ran and came here. Best hiding spot. What they, What were they like? They were big and scary. They kept calling me a Katani's brat. A Katani's brat. Katani, the guy who got his face changed. They're on to him. Yusuke Khan, your mom's waiting for you at the park. We gotta get back to her. I'll keep you safe, alright? Okay. Ooh, transition. There we go. Meanwhile... Oh, hello, Majima-san. Yusuke can too. Akatani, have you, s have you seen your... I mean, Yusuke Khan's mom around here? Yeah. No, I haven't. I just got here myself. Is there a problem? She appeared to be kidnapped by Yakuza. Well, see... There is a problem. Two, I mean three problems. Nah. Hey Akatani. What's up? Who are you people? Oh shit. Four problems. Mom. It's okay. Mm. You're famous for being a lone wolf. I already told you how much I fucking hate the term lone wolf a couple of episodes ago. No ties, no weaknesses. Wasn't easy trying to find how we could get to you. But our diligence paid off. After following you around, we noticed you're taking a lot of interest in these two. Huh? Are you out of your mind? I don't know these people. <laughs> oh, then it won't bother you if we rough them up, huh? Like, what is an animal, like a predator animal, that hunts on its own? I guess you could, uh, like some bird, like an eagle. Lone eagle. That sounds fucking way better. Do eagles hunt in packs? I don't think so. So a lone eagle sounds way fucking better than lone wolf because at least fucking makes sense. Mom, a hawk, lone hawk. Fuck yeah, that sounds cool. Like a Metal Gear character, lone lone hawk. Metal hawk. Hawkity hawk. No family history, no friends or lovers. You kept yourself invulnerable, you stone cold fuckface. You should have thought you had this chink in your armor. Look at my big nose. A knife. If you don't want to see this bitch die, take that knife and fucking kill yourself. Okay. See, if you keep doing what you're doing, our business keeps taking hits if we can... If we can ill afford. That said, if we got our... If we got out that we dealt with your, ourselves, it wouldn't complicate how to do business. So, let's settle this. Why are you using words I don't know how to pronounce? <laughs> Let's settle this amic 
Kebly? Fuck you. You go ahead and kill yourself, then it's going to do... I don't know, fuck you. I don't wanna read this anymore, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of reading everything. I don't like reading books, let alone reading video games. In my head it's a little easier. All the voices they do sound better in my head too. What's wrong, it's a great two for one deal. You get to save both the bitch and the little bitch in return for your life. Doesn't get any better than that. You promise? No. Shit. Hey, this woman you say you're gonna spare, who might that be? Oh, what did I do? Killed him with telekinesis? The fuck happened? What? You got numbers, but you take a hostage anyway. And you're too chicken to get blood on your own hands. Huh? Yeah, unlike me. You know? I just had a conversation with Sagawa and I was talking about how I'm not gonna take a human life. If there ain't the textbook definition of a little bitch, then I'm rewriting the dictionary. Huh? We hope to keep this nice and clean, but that's not happening. What a job, what a job needs doing. I guess it's best to just get it done. When well, the going gets tough, the tough gets going, going, tough, tough. Do, 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 do. Uh? You're up first, you meddling asshole. You're dead. Sometimes they use like a little nickname. Ah, oh, sheesh. They got guns, man. Ow, I got shot. I gotta get rid of this gun wielding dickwad. I was blocking you, dickhead. Come on. Now, give me, give me your weapon. Where's uh, was another knife? Just a knife. Want to stab him to death? Look, I shot a guy to death, and now he's fine. I guess I could have shot him in the leg or something, but still, you you took all of us alone. Damn. Not alone, I hit my trusty baseball bat. You boys seem to have the wrong impression. So let me set you straight, the lady and the kid are strangers to Akatani. That's a lie and you know it. <laughs> if you don't want to believe me now, I suppose I'll have to do a better job of convincing you, maybe permanently. I don't take... I can... I don't care either way, but it's your call, so make it. Uh, I believe you. I believe. I want to believe. Don't you ever touch an innocent civilian again? If you do, I'll hunt you, I'll find you, and I'll fucking kill you. And I'll end you. Got it, never again, mercy! You sure can bring the menace out of... out of... out in your voice. Thanks, Majima. I'm, I'm trying my best with this fucking voice acting. I'm not giving any character a voice because I tried that in Kiwami and it just hurt my throat. So I gave up on that idea. Maybe when a character looks very specific, you know, like like this guy. He, he wouldn't have a stupid voice. He would sound normal. So I'm not doing any stupid voice for him. Mom. And I can't do a woman impression or a little child, so I'm not even bothered to try. Yusuke. No. Talk to him. Come on, do Hi. it. Can't you hear the piano? It's your moment. I'm gonna go take a shit probably after. <laughs> I mean, in the game. And in real life, I guess. I'm sorry you had to go through that. All because of me. You're the man who's always in the park. Yeah. I'll never show my face around you again. If you could, please forgive me. Mister. Thank you for protecting us from those bad people. Yuko, please take care of Yusuke. Pardon? Yusuke, from now on, you protect your mom. You got that? Y yes Okay. Take care. I guess he could have told his son uh, like a deathbed or something that he wants to fucking see him and that he is dying and you know, he's his actual dad. Imagine my son here, this is for solving Yuko and Yusuke. Saving me. Oh I got a sword, now that's a fucking reward, not a fucking shitty ass fucking you know, like all the other rewards I got for quest. You're sure about this? This doesn't feel right. 
with me around, my family will be in danger. Also, what? were you carrying a fucking sword with you? This is how it has to be. I was about to say done, but he didn't say done, so I just kind of cut off all strange like. Mom, that man, is he a Santa Claus? Mm -hmm. He's the kid, do you know him? He's the ant watcher. No, but... <gasps> oh my god, you'll throw him the ball? He'll finally get to play catch with his son? That mister! Oh my god, he realized it's his dad. He knew it. He read his mind. Let's play catch again sometime. <laughs> this is all sad, man. This fucking music makes me cry. <laughs> oh my god. Just gonna go throw it at the toilet. Like he took the fucking ball. What an asshole. That was a heartbreaking side quest. I never thought of play something so heartbreaking. But the toilet where I saw the graffiti might be nuts to be going along with this. I can't fucking write something else? I imagine writing uh, graffiti on a wall in a fucking toilet in a public park would end up to me somehow getting millions of money. How much money do I got anyway? I don't have enough to buy a skill. Because all my skills cost 50... 50 million. Which is a lot of money. But it's not as bad as Kiryu's skills, which all cost 100 million. But I suppose Kiryu also has the real estate minigame, which uh, in that one you can get a lot of money, except if I... If only I knew how to play it. Right, my house. My beautiful house. Crammed in between two buildings, like fucking Stuart the Little's house. You yeah, guys ever watch Stuart the Little? Stuart Little? Whatever the fuck they called it. I did. I watched it a lot. Rest until morning. Is it gonna save the game? Is it gonna end the chapter? Is it just gonna play a cutscene? I don't know what the fuck it's gonna do. None of this stupid shit. Ooh, I'm ending Makoko Koko Makimura Step 1 Finding a guy Sagawa said to try hitting the telephone clubs for girls in Makimura's ring Guess it's time to go make some calls Gotta call girls But I never even talked to them Let alone fucking call them Okay I don't think, though, I am going to play much more of this game what I want to do is um, get over here to the save point and we're gonna fucking not play this game anymore. And it sucks because next week I'm probably gonna play something else. I could play Yakuza again next week. Because I'm actually a little low on these Yakuza episodes. I need more of them. Uh, but then again, I was gonna make a bunch of like retro uh, gameplays and such out of Mega Master System. Not a master system. Mega Drive games. See you fans in the next episode. Bye.